Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to talk about Pretty Little Lies, the finale. I know I've already made a video reacting to it, but I didn't really have the time or strength to really talk about my reaction um, and to talk about how I really felt about it. So here is how I feel. Now obviously at the beginning of the episode we had that scene where they're all talking to each other outside some kind of restaurant or some shit and Jenna rides by on a horse like randomly. Lucas is tap dancing or some shit. I thought that was really random. I didn't really understand that scene if it was taking place in the past, in the future. I had no idea. They were talking about how they hadn't figured out who AD was so I'm guessing it was meant to be at the start of the episode. When Jenna went past on the horse and she was riding around them and they were going, I can't believe we never figured out who it was. I thought they were being like funny and ironic by having Jenna circling them like, hey it's me bitch. Now the first reveal was obviously Melissa. Melissa in a mask. When she first turned around I was like, do you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm not shocked but I like it and I want them to explain it and it made sense because a lot of people have been thinking that Melissa is a for a long long time and it would have tied in with the story from years and years ago and I just wanted all the dots to connect even if they didn't answer every question I wanted it to make sense so that you could go back watch it and see that AD was AD for that reason and that it was clearly right in front of you the whole time which Melissa would have been one of them people. I completely forgot that the writers had said that they were going to use masks and then when she ripped off her mask and it was Mona I was pissed. I was like are you kidding me if Mona's a okay great wouldn't be too bad however we've already had Mona be a and it would have been really anti-climactic and just to say oh yeah, she took the game back. She was like, bitches, I'm having this game for myself again. I was hoping it was either going to be Ren or Caleb or just someone interesting, someone where you can connect the freaking dots. Spencer's twin would have been a really good storyline had they have executed it in the right way without that motherfucking accent. The second she opened her mouth and was like, all right, governor, I'm your twin. I've been here the whole time, I have. Like, <laughs> come on now. And it didn't even like connect to the past where there were obvious, obvious hints of Spencer having a twin from the very beginning and you can connect that and there could have been they could have shown scenes where it was also the twin back in those seasons and they could have said that she found out about Spencer years and years ago and was you know learning how to be Spencer throughout the years and was torturing the girls while she did it and her whole plan was to t eventually take over Spencer's life when she'd finally aced pretending to be her. You know, she's been doing this since the start and then shown a few clips. Like, you know that scene where Ali's coming out of the house and sees Spencer and her mum's like, it's like there's two evil twins in the house, I don't know what's wrong with her, like, why is she acting out like this? Instead of making that be the drugs and shit and her not remembering because of her drug addiction, they could have made that the twin. And that's always a theory that I found interesting when I was reading it on YouTube. I always thought that could be her twin. And, okay, so she's meant to be this freaking psychopath genius and everything. And yet she was just randomly, randomly in a bar, just tramping it out, just like making money. Like, she was just, she was just a normal person. And then she suddenly just went crazy because she figured out about her family. What? It makes no sense and also the motive of I'm jealous because you've got the perfect life and I want to steal your life and blah blah blah. I'm the twin that didn't get the good life. Oh my god that is so freaking... It's like a movie cliche, all of it. It was just so predictable and so like I've seen this a million times before in a million different twin films. The whole gag with the mirror thing, that was kind of cool and it did shock me because I was like damn they actually did it like she has a twin but the second she went BOW I was like for fuck's sake that damn accent is so bad why did she have to be British? She didn't, she really didn't. Don't even get me started on the fact that she killed Ren. I mean what the fuck? Also Ren's role in this is just that he fell in love with Spencer and then found her twin, told her everything and then she started being crazy and then he just kept being with her because he loved her but he couldn't handle it because she was acting like Spencer and she didn't want to be Alex. 
I just felt like he was so much more connected to the story and there are so many dots that still do not connect like there are so many questions I was reading a tumblr post it's things like Bethany Young like when Ren was colouring in that picture of Redcoat and shit like what was he just not involved you know I just I just don't get it like they could have made him so much more interesting and killing off Ren he was like one of my favourite characters he did not deserve to be turned into a diamond that was sick and disgusting I will say that was creepy I was like what the fuck but I was also horrified and the second that she said that she killed him and he was a diamond here forever I was like nah I'm not having this as my end game. Ren is not dead in my mind. <laughs> oh, and the night that Ali went missing, like, did Bethany Young just happen to be wearing a yellow top exactly the same as Alison? Like, what? What, it was just a coincidence? They both ran away on the same night? Oh, just, there are so many things in, like, when Jason thought he saw Melissa talking to Cece, and Cece said that he must have just been seeing things. I thought it was going to turn out that Melissa was actually talking to Cece and she was actually AD. You could have connected that. You could have fixed your own plot holes. So another thing, when they were both saying, oh I'm Spencer, I'm Spencer, and Toby's like, oh I don't know. And then he goes, oh what's your favourite poem from the book you gave me? And then Spencer answers and I'm like, wait, Spencer didn't know ab about the book. She doesn't know that Alex gave you the book because that was Alex that gave you the book so how would she know which book you're talking about and how, would she not question, wait, I didn't give you a book? It, <laughs> that made no sense. Like, what? Are the writers forgetting their own writing? And I know that Spencer also had the book because she had doodlings in it and he knew it wasn't Spencer's book because they didn't have all the notes around it. Sure, fine, great. But how does she know which book he was referring to and why is she not questioning like I did not give you a book do you know what it makes no sense why are they so obsessed with twins they someone pointed this out to me at work like Ali has twins with Emily which is all great but it wasn't and they say that it runs in the genetics of the De Laurentiis family of having twins but like <laughs> it's Emily's egg and Ren's sperm so why did it turn out to be twins, just with Ali being the carrier? I don't know anything about genetics, but I'm sure that's wrong. The whole Arya not being able to have children, I thought was really sad, but probably not necessary. I get that they set that up so that she would think he'd run away from the wedding for that reason, but another thing, why did, why did AD take Ezra if she liked Arya? When they're laying in bed, she's like, we're gonna be the best two friends of all. And I'm like, Okay, so why did she have such a thing for Arya? Like, why did she always not punish her so much? Why did she trust her in the end to go on A-team? Like, there are so many things that make no sense. You could say that maybe she grew fond of Arya just because Sparia are, like, always close to each other, but that still makes no sense. You could have made, I don't know, you, you could have made Twincer be in love with Arya or some shit. You could have made it interesting. You could have made Arya have been in Radley and she knew Alex and and as children and that's why she was treating her nicely or some shit and that's what was actually in Arya's file. Like what happened to Eddie Lamb? What happened there? Why did he recognise Arya? Why was she acting shady? There are so many dots that are not connected. How did Cece come to be Cece Drake? How did she know that she was a Drake? How? Why is Mary also called Drake and not De Laurentiis? Why did Spencer not figure out she had a twin sooner when Dr Cochran or whatever the fuck his name was said some shit about it before and all of the fans already knew that she had a twin because it was so damn obvious? I feel like they just rushed the finale, they just kind of didn't really think it through. They had so much time throughout the season where they could have explained it all and made this a better reveal. Don't get me wrong, I think the coolest part was the mirror bit where she was like this and then she went boo and that was shocking to me. However, just the accent... Are you having a crack at me? I can't even do it. It's like, yeah, I killed Ren, didn't I? Well, gotta go. Mum's got breakfast. Gotta go. I just... 
No, this is nothing against Troyan by the way because she's an amazing actress but I just think had they have not given her that accent it would have been a little bit better. I think this twin reveal could have been so much better, so much less cheesy and predictable and just stereotypical of films with evil twin and good twin. I'm sure there's something I'm missing out but that is my general feeling about the finale. Let me know your thoughts and feelings about it. Um, I feel like there's so much more I wanted to say but I haven't re-watched it because I don't really want to. Also the end scene was really ruined for me. I was just completely taken out of the world because of her accent and because of how unbelievable it was. And then at the end you have Arya getting married to Ezra and then Marlene's phone goes and she's like, oops sorry, shh. And I just felt like it no longer like made sense. It was like they didn't even try for the last episode. It was like they were just like, do you know what, fuck it, let's just blow the last episode and make it as un unrealistic, fan fictiony and stupid as humanly possible. And I also didn't like how background the rest of the characters became. It was like suddenly they didn't matter, it was all about Spencer and Alex. And it, they just, they had hardly any involvement they literally just in two seconds they figured out that Spence had a twin from her perfume are you for real with a blind girl like she could have just changed her perfume I get that it's meant to tie into that scene where Jenna is given a folder with AD and she's linking the smells because she says to Addison that she's maybe blind but she's got a good sense of smell and she can smell a bitch from a mile away but still like it's a very a big conclusion to jump to just from the fact that she's got the same perfume as AD. Toby then runs to them and in two seconds they're like, do you know what, we believe you. Twin theory, yeah. And then they're like, bam, in two seconds, oh, I've got the coordinates, mate. And then they go over and oh, it's just so unrealistic. Like in two seconds, they're just like, don't question it. They're like, do you know what, bam, this sounds true, twin. They go over, get the coordinates in two seconds, I didn't know it was that damn easy. Go, save Spencer, the end. I've got to go loves, um, that's the end of my video. I will see you in the next one. If you like this video, you can like, comment and subscribe. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Let me know what you think down below. This is not hating. Pretty Little Liars was a great show and I loved it to the end. It's just they ruined the ending for me. This was worse than Cece. Cece I could deal with and I could feel sorry for her with her transgender storyline, but this one, just no redeeming itself. I've tried rewatching it and enjoying it and I just can't. Probably gonna get hate on this video as well. But I'm not being mean to try and. I'm just saying. It should have ended years ago and they should have tied it all in. I wanted Melissa to be A after I saw that twin. I was like, no. <laughs> okay. Bye guys.